Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. and welcome to Mountain Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Spring and Animals. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, we know that we need to sanitize. So let's take some sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Yay! Good job everyone! For today's lesson, we will be talking about reading, comprehension, doubling, halving and number names. Let's start our lesson boys and girls by going to page three. On page three we are going to be reading a comprehension. Now remember every time we read a story or a comprehension we have to read it three times. The first time is to make sure that you understand what the story is talking about. The second time is after you have read your questions so that you can look for your answers. And then the third time is to make sure that all your answers are correct. Let's take a look at our comprehension and read together. It says, a trip to the zoo. Pam went to the zoo with her mom and dad. Her mom brought some sandwiches for lunch. Her dad brought the camera. They went to see the giraffes first and Pam's dad took some photos. Next, they went to see the monkeys. The monkeys were swim swinging from the trees. Pam thought the monkeys were very funny. She had a really great day with her parents. So this is our comprehension and as you can hear, it sounds so exciting. And I'm sure you'll be able to read and answer the questions. For now, let's read the questions. Remember, questions are read two times. Number one, where did Pam go? Where did Pam go? Number two, who brought the sandwiches? Who brought the sandwiches? Number three says, which animal did Pam see first? Which animal did Pam see first? Number four says, 
What did Pam's dad bring? What did Pam's dad bring? Number five says, what were the monkeys doing? What were the monkeys doing? So now that we have read our questions, it's time to read our passage a second time. So we're going to read through and I want you to try and find your answers by yourself. A trip to the zoo. Pam went to the zoo with her mom and dad. Her mom brought some sandwiches for lunch. Her dad brought the camera. They went to see the giraffes first and Pam's dad took some photos. Next they went to see the monkeys. The monkeys were swinging from the trees. Pam thought the monkeys were very funny. She had a really great day with her parents. So now that we have read it a second time, it's up to you boys and girls to now try and fill in the answers. Remember to make sure that you either put a word or a short sentence. Don't forget to put your capital letter at the beginning and a full stop at the end. Then when you're done, read the story a third time. Have fun and I'll see you when you're done reading after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Now let's continue our lesson, boys and girls, by going to page four. On page four, we are going to be doing some doubling and halving. On one side, we can see that we have to double. Remember, doubling is when we make it more. And then on the other side, we have to half it. So we're going to do the first two together. Let's take a look at the board. Now the first two says, for the doubling part, it says double one is dash. So we need to find out what double one is. And how do we do that? Well, we are going to draw inside the red boxes. The first one that we're going to do is doubling one. So we need one. And because we are doubling our number, we draw another one. So now we have doubled one. For us to get our answer, we need to count them. One, two. So our answer after doubling is two. So don't forget, first you draw the number you've been given. And then after that, you do it again. Then you will get your answer. Double one is two. Now let's take a look at when we are halving. Now when we're halving is a different story. The very first thing we need to do is cut our box into half or two parts. One, two. And then after that, that's how we are going to share equally in the boxes to get our answer. So half two is... We first put one in one box, one, two, we have reached our number. So our two is there and we have drawn one, two. Now we need to find out what is in, on each side. So the first side has only one and then the second side only has one. So that means boys and girls that half of two is one. Good job if you knew the answer before I told you. So take your time with the doubling and the halving boys and girls. Remember when we are doubling we are going to make whatever number we are given times two or we do it again and then 
for the halving we first make our box half and then we share equally until we get to the number that we've been given then we count what is on each side when you're done with that one you can move to the next one on page five on page five we're going to be doing our number names but not just any number names boys and girls we're going to do a search with it's our job to search for the number names and then circle it now because we have been doing word searches i'm not going to help you this time but i am going to share the number names with you so if you are paying attention you are going to write the number names under the numbers that you can see and all of them look very different and very excited to be there let's take a look at the board so the first number that i want you to write under the number one is one one has a simple name with three letters one two three so go ahead and copy the number one then the next one that we have is the number two. Two is very easy to remember as well. The next one after that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now there are many, many songs that help us remember the number names, but today I want you to just remember the number names, not the song. So don't forget, number one starts here and I want you to copy them down nicely so that now when you're going into your word search, you know which number name you're looking for. Take your time, my children, don't rush and make sure that you only start when you have completed all of the number names have fun and i'll see you when you're done after the advert break do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools topics include family summer culture traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, but I know that you had fun with me today. Remember, if you're not sure what to do, you can always ask an adult for help, but just make sure that you finish your work by yourselves. So now that we're done with our exercises, we need to sanitize our hands. Remember, we sanitize to try and keep not just ourselves, but everyone around us safe. So sanitize every time you can and remind the people around you to sanitize as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I think I saw a little blue head sneaking up on me. <laughs> Hello, Sashi. How are you? I'm sure you had a nice day. Wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today. And goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.